got a call for a some kind of truck, pickup truck. I don't know. Stuck in the sand out here on the beach at Sand Hollow. So we're gonna head in here and see if we can pull it out. The Morver don't care what kind of truck it is. I don't care what kind of truck it is. We're just gonna, it's a stuck truck. That's all I care about it. Am I a terrible person? Because I can't tell the difference between a Dodge, a Ford, and a Chevy. So I wanna talk to you a little bit about my crew and some of the dynamics of being on call 24 seven. So today, I've got Jamie with me. Hi guys. And she's supposed to give you a weather report. Uh, it's hot, that's all I know. It's, super, super, super hot. Yeah, it's well over 100. But we are on call 24 hours, and not all my crew is always available 24 hours a day. So that's why sometimes you'll see some of the crew members and sometimes you'll see others. Sometimes you'll just see me and one of my family members, like right now. Yeah, it's Friday night, so it's our date night. And we've been doing date nights in tow trucks for years. I think Hefe's gonna meet us out here because we don't have a cameraman because Jamie is wearing her sandals. Never prepared. And the sand is like 140, 150 degrees. So she's not gonna walk out there. She's gonna stay in here in the air conditioning and just enjoy, enjoy the journey. Our cameraman hasn't showed up. There they are. They just. There's the can am. They're over there. This guy just tried to. Yeah, he yeah, tried to see awesome. if he could help us. And yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get him out if he needs to. Kick him up some sand. We'll just pull him out and then pull you out. You All don't right. have to do any extra work. Here comes the cameraman. We brought everybody. The whole crew's here. These are the best ropes ever invented. Yes. He's my help. You. You guys need some help? Yeah, we'll probably need some help. Okay. We're gonna see if we can get it out first. All right. Carry my boards? Ah, uh, a little. Yeah. If I can get going, just a little momentum and I can get going. Yep. Coming. Might as well not stress it out anymore. Yeah, it'll be good. You were close.
good thing I'd have to bust out the shovel. That would not be as fun. <laughs> no. We do have it though. So on this pull, we never quite got this truck to plane. So it was a hard pull the whole the whole way out. What size shirt do you want? Um, I don't know. I feel like we should be giving you guys something, not the other way around. <laughs> what size shirt do you want? We saw you were missing one and decided to give oh, you one. Oh, I know. <laughs> Is this the official shirt saying you got stuck at Sand Hollow? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard about you guys. <laughs> Didn't think I'd be on it. All right, thank you guys. That yeah, was nice yeah. of you to stop to, to help that guy. Uh, I didn't really help him. All I did is bury myself. So. so we got a call for a Bronco, I believe, that is stuck way out in the back dunes. He got kind of trapped down there and couldn't, couldn't uh, find his way out. And he tried and ended up in a bad spot. So we're gonna go out there and see if we can get them out. We got Skeeter with the weather today. 98 degrees, no wind. It actually doesn't even feel hot at all for us. It's really nice. Skeeter's pretty tough. Got Rhett back there with a the haircut. Yeah, back to short hair. So we're just gonna head up the water tank road to the top of the world. Then we're just gonna cross the dunes. He's clear on like the southeast side. Um, stuck in a pretty bad little spot. Whee! Man, those are big bumps. That's what you call whoops when they're that big. Matt, what is all this area out there with just sagebrush and stuff? So this whole area out here, oh wow, man, that's bumpy. My goodness, what are these guys doing out here when it's 100 degrees? So this whole area out here is the Sand Mountain OHV off-highway vehicle. It's a riding area for off-roaders. Really beautiful, it's a lot of fun, and it can be really dangerous. If it's your first time out here, just slow down and stay off of the big stuff. It'll get you. So the plan is to get him unstuck, and then I'm gonna drive him out through the dunes, get him up to the top of the world. Typically, like this time of the day, it's gonna be a razor because uh, the razor riders are hardcore. They're the only ones that'll go out when it's 100 plus degrees in the middle of the day, right in the sand dunes. I don't get it, but yeah, they do. It's hard on you, but it's also hard on your vehicle because they get hot. Matt makes it look really easy driving through the sand dunes. It's actually really hard. It doesn't look like it's gonna be really hard to get to him, and it, from here, it doesn't look like he's in a terrible spot, so. Hopefully this will be easy. We'll get him out of there. What do you think, Brad? You think it's gonna be easy? Yeah, it should be. We're gonna drop off right here. This is gonna be straight down. Ooh. This gentleman called me and asked for directions out of the dunes and I told him how to do it. He didn't quite understand. Now he's in this spot. this like you like you said because I seen that spot right there and I, I yeah. just misjudged it straight forward right now but you're gonna want to turn about like that and we'll see if we can get you up here okay. this is gonna take some work
Well, that wasn't too bad. Went real easy, two pulls. Nothing nice in there? Too nice for me. I could not figure it out. Had to have the door all the way closed. So, do you want me to drive this out, or are you good? Let's just do that. Let's drive it out, and, and we'll just go from there. You got her. So we're in four low and we're in sand mode. And low range is, you definitely want to be in, in low range in the sand. So if you know your way around out here, it's very, very helpful for getting across these dunes. So the crossing point is this saddle right here. So that's the one we're aiming for. And there's a bowl in it that we're gonna have to drive in a circle to get out of it. Ooh. Hang on, everybody. <laughs> yeah. So did you know that there wouldn't be like an edge there just because yeah. of the way the cross went? I've, I've driven out of this dune a thousand times <laughs> between between uh, ATVs and sand rails, and now my Jeep's my business. Yeah. This is uh, this is the way out of here. Okay, so you gotta do the same loop de loopy, huh? Yeah. But as that, you know, if the wind doesn't blow for a week or so, there'll just be a highway of tracks right there where I was, because that's where you cross. Hey, Rhett. What? What's your girlfriend's name? Don't got one. What do you mean? I'm too young for one. Rhett, how come you cut your hair? Uh, my mom told me I had to. What? I liked your hair. I miss it already. I need... I need it a little bit shorter. That's all right. Yeah, and all that work just so we don't have to climb that hill right there. Yeah, that's what we, I tried it totally. No, we can't make that. That's why I never come down in here because this is a trap down in here, huh, Red? Oh yeah. Get down in there, you cannot get out. If you're not in a side by side, you're working hard. Yeah, to get out. It's all downhill from here. Cool. Yeah, I remember this now. So let's go ahead and not so easy to get out of there, is it? No, yeah, but that uh, was pretty cool how he brought us over that yeah, one he went, last Oh, dude. and then it's a circle around. Yeah. So he wants a shirt for his grandson. This is the smallest one we have. Perfect. Oh, yeah. It'll be a night shirt, maybe. Yeah. 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 Okay, nice thank you. So Have a good one. Hey. See you guys. Skeeter, how did Rhett do driving? He did good. Well, that was a good job. We got them out of there and on their way. And uh, we're back on our way. And thank you for watching. Slow down, man. There's nowhere we got to be that fast. I, I follow the rules on the road. All right, we're going to be at the Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion this August 25th, 26th, and 27th. We're going to be hanging out in the Barnes booth. We're going to have our own stuff there. You can come by. You can pick up a shirt, a sticker, hat, hoodie. You can meet the crew. Swing by and find us, and we'll see you there.